Time to make a video. Gotta get the hat. Right, let's go with this one. Brand new hat for a brand new Jacoji video. What's going on everyone? It's brand with Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Sure, personal jewelry. In this video, I want to break down to the best of my abilities the difference between the hollow, semi-hollow, and solid gold diamond cut rogue chain. There are some different things you need to know if you're shopping around. I want you to pay attention to this video. I'm going to break it down. With that being said, let's get started. Let's line these rogue chains up and get straight into this review. On the left, we have a four millimeter diamond cut hollow rogue chain. In the middle is the four millimeter semi hollow, and on the right is the Jacoji solid gold rogue chain. All these are diamond cuts, all look about the same. The semi hollow one I bought used from eBay, and it definitely looks used. I'll make another video on how to tell the difference between the two. But as you guys can see, these pretty much look like the same, although there's night and day difference between the two. The main point I want to make, and whenever I review hollow chains, this is something that, well, if one of the things that irritates me is that bubbly look you get with a hollow rope chain. Um, I made a video, a YouTube short, on comparing a four millimeter hollow Miami Cuban link to a solid one, and I talked about how the link chains have this bubbly look. Same with the diamond cuts on the rope chains. Guys, there's no way to avoid it. That is a huge difference between a solid diamond cut rope chain and a hollow diamond cut rope chain. You don't have the crisp diamond cuts, and I'll show a side-by-side -side of the Jacoji rope chain on the top and the hollow one on the bottom. Now, if you pay attention and the details in these chains, guys, every millimeter counts as far as sizing, and all these small details when you're talking about quality make a huge difference if you want the best overall chain. And I'm talking about it here. You could see how the solid gold rope chain has a uniform crisp sharp not sharp to the skin but a crisp diamond cut that really reflects and refracts that light that's what you want for a diamond cut chain the solid version has and because it is hollow the manufacturers can't apply that same diamond cut because it is a hollow chain so yes you do have a diamond cut but it doesn't look as crisp and clean visually this is the big difference now if you're going the hollow or semi hollow route does a more crisp diamond cut that the solid version has to offer make a huge difference to you most likely not if you walk into a jewelry store and all three chains are on a neck from five feet away are you gonna notice the difference between them probably not but to me a small difference makes a big difference and that's something you need to know of course now the big big difference is the gram weight on the scale which equals the price and this is how jewelers will add the extra markup for the how I like to describe it for the service of giving you a bigger chain look for less the price but when you do the price per gram if you're new to this you just take the price of the chain or jewelry item divide it by the gold content on the scale and then that'll give you a price per gram you check the gold market see if you're comfortable with that and i bet you hollow chains generally are much more expensive per gram compared to solid gold chains even though they are less in price do the math on there and i'll explain how that will get you in trouble in the end by taking that shortcut now let's weigh out the four millimeter completely hollow rope chain we have seven and a half grams on the scale next up we have the semi hollow which is 18.1 grams and last but not least we have the jacoji four millimeter solid gold diamond cut rope chain 29.7 grams so 10 grams more or less between these three chains which is a lot with all that being said which one should you go with now with the hollow it is very tempting for seven and a half grams and the lesser price for a great look why wouldn't you go with this well let me tell you why you should not go with the hollow chain because this you're going to want to wear all the time because it's hollow it means it's fragile and a rope chain naturally has durability issues the bigger the rope chain the better but i would not trust a hollow rope chain for anything it breaks the problem with that is most jewelers won't warranty they're just going to say you know what yes i sold it yes i made money off you but 
it is a hollow chain. There's nothing we can do. You go to resell it, scrap it. There's not much. There's seven and a half grams. You're going to realize you overpaid because you're going to get pennies on the dollar. That is why I say avoid the hollow rope chain. Now, next we have the semi hollow, which it's crazy because at some points it feels hollow and at some points it feels solid. Half my brain thinks one or the other. It is a crazy feeling. Um, but yes, you're going to get more durability with a semi hollow because there's more gold reinforcing these link walls, which is good for durability. You're not going to have as much problems as a hollow rope chain that is now on the ground. Might have stepped on it by now, but you, in my opinion, guys, you're going to go with this when if you saved a little bit more, spent a little bit more, five, six hundred bucks, who knows, whatever the difference is, all the gram weights fluctuate, vary the gold prices, all that stuff. You could have gone with the real deal solid version. And in time, you're going to be glad you went up and went solid instead of just going with the quick fix on this semi hollow. I'm not saying this is a terrible chain. I personally would never stock it, sell it on jacoji.com. I personally would never wear a semi hollow chain, but um, it is definitely better than the hollow version. I think it is worth it at that for 10 grams. You can go with the real deal. Why not just save a little bit or splurge a little bit more and go with the solid version. Rest assured you have a completely solid gold chain. It is gold, guys. Gold is going up. It's a good thing to have. Of course, there's premium when you buy jewelry. There's manufacturers and finishing. There's a business to be ran there, but it is worth it. You get gold. The solid version is always going to be my recommendation between either of those. I think it's good to research and see what you really want. I would avoid hollow. You could look at semi hollow, but you're almost at the finish line. Why not go with the solid version? That is my personal advice to you guys over experience over the years dealing working with chains. That is what I recommend. Drop a comment down below what chain you want me to review next. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for today's video. We'll see you on our next jewelry video.